Are you wondering how you can convert a color PDF to grayscale to save on your printing costs on the book that you published over at Grayspace? Well, I was too, because I had this wonderful book. It's my first book, and it's just my calling card, so to speak. And I really put a lot of thought and effort into it. So it's not just a, uh, just a throwaway. But the color, as you can see there, um, really increased my printing costs substantially. Now, the lady who did the design did a great job. I, mean, I love the design. It's fantastic. But I just don't need to pay for color for just those, uh, those images. And it costs, I, I ran a, a, 200, a 200 run as my initial run, and it cost me 1500 bucks. And I said, man, that's just too much. So I said, well, I need to find a way to get the, it's the interior file. So you're still going to have the exterior file in color, which is fine. But I need the interior file to be black and white uh, so it can cost a heck of a lot less. So I think it's like 250 uh, to print one on the, if the interior file is black and white, where it's like I said, it's like seven bucks if the interior files color. So I guess that's three times as much. And I just can't afford, you know, seven bucks per copy of this little book, uh, which is again, my, my calling card. So I was looking online and the only place I could find was you had to have Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Professional or something like that. And, and I use Chrome. And so I, I don't download any software. I use the software as a service where you can do everything online, like Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R.com. Wonderful for online editing of video of uh, photos. Um, what else do I use? I use Canva. You know, that's all online as well uh, to edit on just via Chrome. And you can save all your files to your thumb drive or your hard drive. Uh, but a lot of the things like Adobe, you, you can't. And Photoshop, you can't. So I was hoping there'd be another way to do that. And sure enough, there is. And I'll show you. S-E-J-D-A, Sejda.com, Grayscale. Yeah, I got my hat on because I'm an early riser, my friends, and I haven't showered yet or anything. I'll probably go uh, go get some exercise here in a little bit. I haven't eaten breakfast yet, I, so I haven't. I usually get up around 5, do some kind of maintenance work. I have good ideas that settle in. So if you're wondering why my attire is so poor, yeah, I just figured I'd get this out there to you because it's, it's important to know for people who are in my circumstance. But anyway, so I go, I looked at Google. Google said they printed them out. I'll show you exactly. How do I uh, convert color to PDF to grayscale? And again, the first thing that came up was Adobe Acrobat. Actually, before that, I went to another, I did another keyword search and I came up with a program it didn't take my PDF file, said it was unable to convert. I was like, yeah. So I was like, oh boy, I guess I'm not gonna be able to do this. But how to convert a color PDF to grayscale? I don't want the Adobe Acrobats, but then there you go, right there. Convert PDF to grayscale online, sejda.com. <laughs> oh, that sucker. And then here's the old file. And as you can see, everything's beautifully in color. Look, there I am in color, but I don't want that in color. Um, for this book. I want it in black and white so I can save on the printing costs. And then you'll see there. So now I upload it according to sejda.com slash grayscale. And here we go. All right. So if I'm giving these books out as a way to uh, encourage people to, to read my stuff, I don't need to be in color. I need to look good. And the interior design is still great. The lady who did did a great job, like I said. But, you know, not a whole lot of difference. I mean, a little bit. I mean, again, it doesn't quite give the the oomph as a color does, but to save me, you know, a thousand bucks on a 200 print copies is absolutely worth black and white. So anyway, folks, hope that helps. If you're looking for ways to convert your image uh, from PDF color to grayscale so you can send it up to CreateSpace. With that said, I am concerned about this because CreateSpace gave me, I mean, I tell you, they printed my book off. It was horrific. I had a horrible experience with these guys because they kept putting the quotation marks about two lines above the left quotation mark for some reason every time they put it up two lines above and it was a hassle to get them they fixed it don't get me wrong but the question is will they fix it permanently or because they fixed it before and then they screwed up and they fixed it before they screwed up and they fixed it before so my initial run of 200 was screwed up and then and so they said it's be fixed permanently now but this is the third time they said that so i'm like oh man so i'm very very hesitant to have them do it again, but you know, we got to give it a shot and see what happens. But anyway, hope this helps my friends. If uh, you know, by all means put comments down below, if you have a better solution, especially for printing self-publishing books, as I, my first experience with create space was, was poor. Now the Kindle publisher was fine as a create space was just, Oh man, just want to jump off a bridge. All right. Hope this helps guys. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. See ya.